Hello, hello. This is Amanda with Greensboro Public Library here to show you a recipe from Frida's Fiestas in correspondence with Hispanic Heritage Month available for checkout. Today's recipe is Mexican tamales and banana leaves. For your filling, you will need boneless pork or chicken, onions, garlic cloves, salt, corn oil or lard, pureed tomatoes drained, and chopped cilantro. For your tamales dough, you'll need masa harina, lard, salt, banana leaves, and one cup of broth if you're not familiar with using lard. Step 1. Place your choice of meat in water covered with halved one onion, halved a clove of garlic, and salt to taste. Step 2. Cook slowly until tender, about 45 minutes on medium. Step 3. Let your meat cool and drain, and then shred the meat with two forks. Step 4. Heat your oil in a large saucepan, and saute your chopped onion and minced garlic until it's translucent. Step 5. Add your shredded meat and saute for about 2 minutes. Step 6. Add your pureed tomatoes to the mixture and mix well. Then add in your cilantro and more salt to taste as needed. Step 7. Simmer this for about 10 minutes until the tomato is well cooked and it's thickened. Once finished, set to the side. Now for the dough. For step 9, beat your masa harina with lard and some salt to taste. If your dough is not forming properly like mine, Slowly add in a broth of your choice until the dough is spongy, like this. Step 10. Flash boil the banana leaves until they soften and become more pliable for you to use to wrap your dough and your filling in. For the alternative method, hold the banana leaves over an open flame for a few seconds for a similar effect. This is the preferred method from the book. Step 11. On a pre-cut cinched square portion of the banana leaf, grease the surface with melted lard. Step 12. Place a portion of your masa on each square, gently spreading with your fingertips. Then top with one and a half tablespoons of the filling. Step 13. Gently fold the edges of the squares together, making a tightly wrapped package. You can tie with a strip of banana leaf if you'd like. Step 14. Arrange your tamales and layers in a slow cooker if you do not have a steamer. Step 15. Cook the tamales for one hour on high in the slow cooker until they are cooked through. For step 16, you carefully remove your tamales from the slow cooker and unwrap. Then enjoy! Thank you for joining me with Cooking with the GPL Collection. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.